Stop. Stop. Okay, I have the notch in the crankshaft pulley lined up with my uh, 5 degrees before top dead center mark. If I had the belt cover off, the E mark would be pointed straight down on the camshaft pulley. My distributor rotor is pointed at cylinder number one. Actually, it looks like it's off a little bit. Now, if I get my 17 socket down there on the crankshaft, crank that around, one complete turn right there. I got it lined up again. So it's right back where it was, but now look where the distributor rotor is. It's pointing down to cylinder number four. The crank each time the crankshaft turns one time, this rotor only goes around halfway. Two turns of the crankshaft for each one turn of the camshaft. This bolt out so I can check this distributor and make sure I have it set up correctly. Okay, I got the wire disconnected from the bottom. Now I can pull it out. There we go. Okay, on, on the shaft here, there's a little V notch right there. And I want to turn this until that dimple is lined up with that V notch. This is lined up to the right of that hole. When I slide it in, I need it to turn a little bit and line up just like that. So it's lined up with this side of this hole. Slide it back into the hole here. Lined up more over here. And that's not correct, so I got it on the wrong gear. And so make sure this guy's lined up. See if I turn it this way a little more. This is the way it should line up. Alright, from this angle, I've got this pointed almost straight up. It's, if I turn that, the outside edge is pointed right, lined up right along with that bolt right there. Here's the distributor I have off of my parts car. You pull the rotor out, you'll see that it has three sides. So if this is like backwards, you can't just turn this around. It won't go on properly. It has three lobes, so you can't turn it 180 degrees. If it's not correct, you have to pull the whole thing out like I showed. If you take this little cap, this just pulls off here. You can see inside, this is the uh, camshaft position sensor rotor. This is the camshaft position sensor right here. So it has a little magnet in it. And when this uh, steel swings through that magnet, it sends a signal to the computer. Alright, the distributor cap has this little empty knob right here. Alright, this is number one. This one goes up. This one's on the left of it. And then three, one, three, four, two. Like that. This on here. And screw it back in. Alright, I have my wires labeled. You don't really have to label them if you just want to go by the length. This like number four is the shortest one. Number three is I think I got three and four backwards here. Number three is supposed to be a little longer than number four. Number two should be longer than number three. 
and number one is the longest of all. So this is number four down here. It'll go on that spark plug in here. And I'm going to run this one through that little gap down here. There we go. Plug in number three right here. I'm going to go right here. I'll run it around through this little hole also. Number two will hook up on the back side over here. Number one. Run it through here. Number one goes in the top. Right there. Goes in the middle. And hooks up to my coil right here. Back in. Time to try it out. Find out. check connector clip on the top here the little nub right there on the top I need to connect that one to that one to short those two out and I got a little jumper wire here and in that hole like that now this should stop the computer from doing an automatic uh, timing advance here's a picture of the connector from the book Set the RPM at about between 800 and 850 with this little screw right here. That's the idle speed adjustment screw. Okay, now bring the camera. My timing is uh, uh, retarded a little bit. I need to advance that up. Okay, I have the timing set right on uh, 5 degrees before top dead center with some gas. It advances properly. So it should be good to go. Hey, don't forget to take that wire back out. Cap that back up. And that's it. Now I just gotta see if I can get the transmission to work right.